just when we all thought October couldn't come fast enough for the premiere of SWAT Season 6, Shamar Moore dropped a fresh behind-the-scenes photo of the show's set in Thailand, which got us all pretty riled up. What other news do we need to know about the upcoming season? Find out all about it and more in today's video, so keep watching if you don't want to miss out on the latest. Just in, SWAT's Shamar Moore dropped a fresh BTS photo of the show's set in Thailand. Fans will soon be able to see 20 Squad once again when the sixth season of SWAT begins on CBS as the fall television season is ready to get underway in earnest. With some of the action taking place in Thailand for the premiere, the police procedural is once again bringing things abroad. Star Shamar Moore also posted a cute photo from the international set. As per usual, Shamar Moore has been disseminating content while the CBS mainstay is being produced. A shirtless photo is included to demonstrate Moore's efforts to avoid developing a dad bod. The former star of Criminal Minds recently posted another image on Instagram, this time with co-star Jay Harrington, taken while they were out and about in the streets of Bangkok. Some people may be curious as to why the characters would be placed in unfamiliar circumstances. TV Line reports that our heroes will be in Bangkok to train with the country's SWAT team. However, while there, they come upon a heroin operation with connections to a predicament in LA, as well as a potent drug lord. It's good to see that Hondo won't be alone this time after the character debuted the previous season in Mexico by himself. The cast and crew have previously shot in locations outside of North America. It was a fairly cool episode from season 3 where Hondo, Deacon, Tan, and Hicks went to Tokyo. Important to note that Rochelle Eights, who plays Hondo's fiance and mother of his child, Nichelle, shared a BTS photo from Thailand on Instagram after Thailand filming was finished. Fans will thus be able to enjoy some Hondo and Nichelle content, and who knows, perhaps the former will finally propose, given that Thailand would be the ideal setting. And we're looking forward to seeing how they collaborate to neutralize this transcontinental threat with the rest of the team in Los Angeles. However, for the sixth season, 20 Squad will be missing one member. Lena Esco announced during the season finale of the previous season that she would be quitting the show after five seasons to push herself and concentrate on other endeavors. Fortunately, there is still room for the character to come back should the actress decide to do so in the future. Although it's uncertain how many episodes will be filmed in Thailand, Shamar Moore and his co-stars should keep posting behind-the-scenes pictures. Any form of content is welcome, but these images from Bangkok are particularly eye-catching and will surely energize supporters till the start of the new season. So, what else can we expect about the series next season? Well, according to one of the series' big bosses, Hondo and Nichelle's baby moon will spiral into a dangerous situation. In the back-to-back -back season 6 premiere episodes of SWAT, executive producer Andrew Detman hints that the brave team leader Hondo Harrelson's action-packed escapades will take place in jungles, rivers, and even involve seeing elephants. For a combined training exercise with Thai SWAT, Hondo, brave family man Deacon K, and fierce Victor Tan travel to Thailand, shot on sight. In Bangkok, they receive instruction in amazing new tactics, such as a climbing technique that uses bamboo poles to quickly ascend skyscrapers. Later, Hondo and his expectant girlfriend Nichelle, Rochelle Eights, travel to Chiang Mai in northern Thailand for a baby moon with his former soldier comrade Joe, once upon a time's Sean McGuire, who works for the UN Drug Interdiction Program. It will eventually spiral into a perilous situation, according to Detman. The men will receive assistance from their new friends in Bangkok's SWAT and the dependable Deacon and Tan once Nichelle is safely out of the fray. Don't miss the SWAT Season 6 premiere on Friday, October 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as part of the CBS TV program for 2022. In other related news, some fans of Shamar Moore are missing him in the critically acclaimed crime drama Criminal Minds, especially since it's been announced that the series' revival is happening. In line with this, fans have been talking about the show's favorite agent duo. We know Moore is one half of this pair, but who's the other one? Keep on watching to find out. It's finally happening. The revival of Criminal Minds is upon us. The 10-episode return on Paramount Plus of Criminal Minds will follow the behavioral analysis unit as they attempt to apprehend what may be their most dangerous unsub ever. As they create a network of serial killers during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic with planned attacks across the country, according to Deadline. The revival will also feature the return of some of the legendary cast, similar to how Law & Order Season 21 featured the return of the legendary cast. Six old cast members from Criminal Minds will be returning, not just the original two. Dr. Tara Lewis, Aisha Tyler, Emily Prentice, Paget Brewster, Penelope Garcia, Vangsness, Luke 
Galvez, Adam Rodriguez, JJ Giro, AJ Cook, and David Rossi, Joe Mantegna, will all make a comeback. Many of the BAU's illustrious members are undoubtedly favorites. There is definitely a handful that are absent, which will undoubtedly frustrate some viewers such as the notable absence of Dr. Spencer Reed, Matthew Gray Goobler. Despite his dramatic farewell from the series, some fans would like to see Thomas Gibson reprise his role as Aaron Hotch Hotchner. Fewer of the beloved agent duos from the show's 15 seasons will appear because of the absence of a few returning characters. When the BAU takes on two cases at once, Rossi and Hotch frequently work together, and Reed is JJ's child's godfather. Anyone who has binge-watched Criminal Minds is unlikely to be surprised by the fan-favorite duo. And yes, we're talking about Dr. Spencer Reed and Derek Morgan, who are portrayed by Matthew Gray Goobler and Shamar Moore respectively. Reddit users who watch Criminal Minds generally concur that the BAU agent team of Dr. Spencer Reed and Derek Morgan is the greatest throughout the entire season. A since-deleted user started the discussion by asking Criminal Minds fans who they thought made the best agent team. A total of 536 fans cast their ballots, with Reed and Morgan receiving an astounding 220 of them to win. With 88 points, Morgan and Penelope Garcia were second, Morgan and Emily Prentice were third, Reed and JJ Giro finished fourth, and was followed by Aaron Hotch Hotchner and Prentice with 56, Hotch and David Rossi with 46, and then Giro with 56. But it's hardly surprising that fans adore Morgan and Reed. Throughout their time together, both on and off camera, the two enjoy a brotherly relationship. The prank war between Reed and Morgan's characters in Criminal Minds was one of the show's greatest scenes, and Goobler has previously made fun of more on social media. Since we're already on the topic of Criminal Minds, we might as well share with you one iconic CGI goatee prank Shamar Moore recalls about the series. Shamar Moore remembers being played for a fool on Criminal Minds with a false CGI goatee. The actor currently portrays Sergeant Dan Hondo Harrelson in CBS's SWAT, but before leading his own police procedural, he served as SSA Derek Morgan for the Criminal Minds Behavioral Analysis Unit BAU squad. Moore's Morgan, a member of the original ensemble, was a key player in the specialized FBI unit stationed in Washington, D.C. At one time, he even temporarily took over as acting BAU chief, succeeding Aaron Hotchner. On The Kelly Clarkson Show, Moore tells a humorous story about his experience on the set of Criminal Minds. He remembers how the CBS project's cast and crew played a practical joke on him, tricking him into thinking they could add his beard hair in post-production, after he unintentionally shaved it before they finished filming an episode. Moore was required to wear green CGI tape cut to resemble Morgan's beard, and it wasn't until Kirsten Vangsness laughed that he understood that everyone was playing a joke on him. Moore's tale is proof of how entertaining the Criminal Minds set was typically, but that wasn't always the case. The program also included its fair share of drama, including a run-in with Thomas Gibson, who portrayed BAU leader Aaron Hotchner, on the set. After Moore left the program, this resulted in the actor losing his job the very next season. There have been rumors that Gibson and Moore have also had some disagreements, but neither has spoken publicly about it. But aside from that, Moore seems to still cherish his time on Criminal Minds. For many long-standing fans of the series, the fact that he still refers to Vangsness as Baby Girl undoubtedly brings back memories. Given this, viewers might ask whether Moore might make a comeback to the BAU as Morgan in the upcoming Criminal Minds relaunch. Not long after the BAU's run on CBS came to an end, Paramount Plus is bringing it back, this time with a 10-episode season order on a streaming service. And that's everything we have on Shamar Moore so far. Thanks for watching today's video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.